This is Duke University. So I became interested in the issue of language surrounding the police use of force and racial profiling in the New York Police Department. This is Lauren Foreman. She's a Duke undergrad who's written an intriguing honors thesis. So I'm from New Jersey and I live a short train ride from the city and police use of force and racial profiling was really a hot button topic and it, it was hard to really avoid um, hearing about. And it became quite clear as I read a lot of the news coverage that the police and the law enforcement officers and the protesters are really not even speaking the same language. Lauren looked closely at the death of Eric Garner. He died on Staten Island in 2014 after being placed in a chokehold by arresting officers. Here's how the police talked about the incident. In attempting to take Mr. Garner into custody, there was a physical struggle during which Mr. Garner repeatedly complained of difficulty breathing as the officers wrestled him to the ground. The language Eric Garner's widow used was more raw. Hell no. The time for remorse would have been when my husband was yelling to breathe. This difference in language fascinated Lauren, and she turned it into a study on words, a linguistic analysis of the New York Police Department's policy narratives. She scrutinized public documents from the police, things like press releases and press conference transcripts. She scoured internal police documents like training materials, and then she looked at the language used by those who were protesting police action. Language, she says, profoundly shapes the outcome of public discourse. The police documents specifically tended to describe things in a passive way, whereas the protesters' language was always very active. Their verbs were a lot more vibrant. And what I found when I step, took a step back and said, what, are, what is the nature of this debate, was that they were focusing much more on blaming each other than on actually parsing out the issue. Lauren's project is exciting, uh, partially for the interdisciplinarity, but because she's asking a hard question. She's asking a question that has no clear, correct, right or wrong answer. But the answers that she found help us better understand why the tensions we see in Ferguson and with some of the others, things that have arisen on university campuses over the last year, why they matter to us. I decided to do my honors thesis beginning in the spring of my junior year. I knew that when I found a topic that I was really passionate about that it would be a really rewarding experience. If it's right for you, it's a fantastic experience. 